As you can see, Blizzard recently censored an image of Jania Proudmoore from World of Warcraft in Hearthstone. As you can see on the left, it is the uncensored version, the original version. And on the right, you can see how she is censored. A little piece of cloth is covering up her cleavage. Um, and with that piece of cloth, it really covered up all of the cleavage that she had. Of course, they didn't do anything else. When it comes to censorship uh, like these, you know, even in something like Yu-Gi-Oh, when you look at Konami and how they censor, you know, cards, even in this situation, they don't change the structure of the card itself. They just add in little changes to make it more make it more family friendly and make it more younger audience friendly they don't actually change the card except for adding in things in little details like these and this isn't the first time that blizzard has censored hearthstone images like this they make little changes all of the time you know to cover up characters like this you know covering up skin and doing small changes like adding armor to skeletons so that the bones aren't showing which is the completely and utterly ridiculous it's the silliest thing that i've ever seen but they change little things like this all the time so it's not like they've never done this you know they have a track record with it so in situations like these you have to look at blizzard as a total and as a company in total and their track record with games they will do anything to open themselves up to a larger audience even if it means hurting the one that they already have I'm going to compare the situation because it's recent, look at Overwatch. Making some of the main characters gay upset the already existing parts of the player base. Not because the character himself was gay, of course. I don't think that I saw anyone that was actually upset with the change itself, but it was what followed. Because they, you know, they make sure that you know the details like this and details that add a narrative to a game that doesn't even have a story mode but blizzard isn't a bad company overall it's like they're confused with what their consumers want even look at world of warcraft and people have been talking about this and people speak up all the time if they feel strongly about this they add in 25 dollar store mounts that no one wants no one wants to pay 25 dollars for a store mount which is practically a reskin and sometimes they're even completely unique so it's the fact that you can't actually get it by playing it used to not be this way, you know, as companies grow and companies change, changes like this happen. With censorship changes like these, they're hoping that it opens up revenue to maybe a younger audience and the audience of people that want heavy censorship in gaming. But they fail to understand what consumers like you and I, consumers that spend tons of money and tons of time in their games, they fail to understand what we actually want. And when I look at this situation, I consider their competition, the, the card game competition, not even just that, but their competition in total over all of their games. So you have to look at it as Wizards of the Coast doesn't do this. In Magic the Gathering, they do not alter cards like this. Uh, CD Projekt Red, which has Gwent, does not do this either. They do not censor images like this because if they did, they know that they would have people upset with them and people are upset by these Hearthstone changes. You have to consider from a business point of view, if your competition, your direct competition isn't making changes like this, why would you? Because there's alternatives. That's a main thing for me here is that Hearthstone is a large game. It is a very good game, but there's alternatives to it and you're going to lose pieces of your player base and consumers because there's alternatives that are better that don't censor images like this. Look at companies like CD Projekt Red. Their direct competition, they know what their consumers want. They, they know that consumers want something like The Witcher. Look at Gwent. These are two very, very good examples. And I'm going to show you an image of an actual Gwent card because you have to look at the difference in business and how they, they handle their companies. So this is a Gwent card. Look at the artwork. There is no censorship here. And look at CD Projekt Red as a total. They have things like The Witcher, where there are always intimate adult scenes. The, the characters look adult. Even like this one, they know that their audience and what their consumers want, and that is why I 100% support them. That is why I play Gwent, I play games like this, because I want to support a company that won't give in to censorship, first of all, but a company that knows what their consumers want and continue to give their consumers what they want. They never change anything. Look at all the Witcher games. There has never been a change in their own direction. Look at Gwent. People were upset about images like these and artworks like these, but they never gave into 
what other people wanted because they know knew as in general what their consumers wanted and that is why i personally support companies like these this is a great image and i'm glad that it's not censored unfortunately blizzard is a company in recent times that has given into hey if someone in, in a large group of people do dislike something in your game like this they change it and they don't hold their own ground as a company and they don't defend what their consumers want, the, the main basis of what their consumers want. But I wanted to share this with you guys because I, of course, am a card game player. I love card games. I play Magic the Gathering Arena. I play Gwent. I've played Hearthstone. You know, I've played all these games and I'm part of these game communities and seeing stuff like this really hits home for me. I mean, even look at Konami. I don't play Yu-Gi-Oh! anymore, but Konami is known to censor cards. They have censored cards since day one. When it comes to the North American versions of the cards, things are censored left and right. Even the newest sets, there are things that are censored. But you guys will have to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below on this situation. Even though it's a small change, do you think that they should have made this change at all? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like. Make sure to share it so people can see the recent censorship changes that Blizzard is making to Hearthstone. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you guys again really soon.